Dobermans age much faster than many other breeds out there, and their life expectancy, well, it really isn't what you might have heard. And unfortunately, there are a lot of studies out there to back that up. And that old saying of taking your dog's age and multiplying it by seven in order to find out how old they are in dog years, that really doesn't work with the Doberman breed. So how old is your Doberman in our terms? Let's say if you were able to convert your dog's age into the equivalent human, how old would that human be? Well, luckily, thanks to brand new research that followed over 1,500 Dobermans in their life cycle, we can now answer that question. So by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to take your dog's age, convert it, and to see how old that dog would be if they were a human and get a really good idea of how far in their life cycle your dog is. This is really amazing stuff, guys, and it's really time to make the most use out of your time with your Doberman because every day is precious and you may not have as much of it as you may think. Okay, let's figure out how old your Doberman is if they were a human, shall we? And then after that, we're gonna talk about some really crazy new research that's come out to show how long the Doberman breed is actually living in recent generations. It's some crazy stuff that might shatter your original beliefs about the longevity of this breed. Now, this study was done quite a while ago and it really didn't get much attention initially, but man, does it have some very interesting stuff in it for us Doberman owners. What it did was it followed a tons of different dog breeds, but among the dogs that it followed was 1,522 Dobermans. That many Dobermans they followed their entire life cycle from birth into death, and they compared it to other dog breeds and then ran many different calculations along the way to really give us just a ton of insight into how long this breed is living. Now, the calculations in this study were so interesting and important to us Doberman owners because you know, that old adage of, you know, just take your dog's age and multiply it by seven, and that's roughly how old they'd be if they were a human. That doesn't really hold up because that would give you the same result for a Chihuahua as it would for a Doberman. And we know that those dogs, of course, age at vastly different rates. Uh, so with this study, though, we can find out exactly how old a Doberman specifically is. And uh, that's why this is so interesting, guys. And by the way, I poured over this study in painstaking detail and pulled out the interesting parts for you so you wouldn't have to. But if you want to, the link to that study will be in the sources section down below. So here's what the actual data showed in terms of how old your Doberman is in dog years and as it compares to human years. I'm gonna throw that information on your screen right now. There it is for you guys. And what's crazy about this is it's all breed specific conversions here. It's breed specific information from over 1500 Dobermans in this study, which is a huge pool of Dobermans. And look at that. Uh, by the time your Doberman is 10 years old, the equivalent of a 70 year old human. Uh, and you know, we've all heard rumors of dogs that are, you know, 13, 14, 15 year old Dobermans, for example. But look at that. By the time they're 14, that's like a 95 and a half year old human. That's unbelievable. Even by the time your Doberman is only four years of age, that's equivalent to a 39 year old human, which is getting up. Oh man, I'm 39. That's, yeah, I guess that's getting up there. So as I said, that was all Doberman specific information, but how does that compare to other breeds? How fast do other breeds age as compared to the Doberman? Well, the study has some answers for that too. Let me throw this data up on your screen. Okay, there's a lot of data here and feel free to pause this video right here if you need to, to look at this closer. Um, but you can tell right away, the Doberman is one of the shortest living breed in this study, it seems. Only the Great Dane really appears to uh, have a shorter lifespan. Uh, let's look at 10 years of age, just as an example. Uh, at 10 years of age, a miniature poodle is effectively the equivalent of a 53.4 year old human. And a schnauzer at 10 years of age is equivalent to a 58 year old human. And we go down the list and they just keep getting higher until you get to the Doberman, who is the equivalent at 10 years of age to a 70 year old human. And then the Great Dane is the only one older in this study and they're the equivalent of a 76 year old human. The sad truth is the Doberman isn't living near as long as almost all other dogs in its category. And DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy, a heart condition, a terminal heart condition, uh, affecting over half, yes I said over half of all Dobermans, it's really becoming a critical issue and it's arguably one of the biggest causes of death for this breed. Uh, and that's why I'm so passionate on my channel guys for getting your Doberman tested because this is such a huge issue. Okay, so how short is a Doberman's lifespan? Well, unfortunately, there is a big disconnect between the official numbers for the life expectancy and what the latest studies are actually saying. But if you look at the official numbers right now, if you Google this question, Google's going to tell you a Doberman lives between 10 to 13 years. And that's kind of what I've always heard for a Doberman. Um, but that may be based on some really old data. Now, the AKC, the American Kennel Club, says between 10 to 12 years. That's pretty close to on par with that. 
And the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, the DPCA, is now saying on average a Doberman lives 9.6 years. Now that's a big discrepancy from the AKC and what Google's saying. Uh, and so I suspect the DPCA may be going on more recent data. In general, it seems like the more recent the data is used to create what the life expectancy is for this breed, the lower the life expectancy seems to be. These sites and these places that use older data, they tend to tout kind of a longer life expectancy for the Doberman. So what about some unofficial numbers with how long Dobermans are living? Now these might actually be more accurate because although they're unofficial, these are like a lot of the more recent studies about this, um, which is very scary stuff to be honest. So hold on to your seats here because this is, this is where we start to get a bigger disconnect between the official numbers and what people are actually seeing in their Dobermans. Now the first one is kind of uh, definitely an unscientific approach. This is our own study here at Doberman Planet. And um, basically what we did is we scoured as many internet forums, Facebook groups, other websites, social media, where people were posting stories about their Dobermans and how they died. And we collected as many of these stories as we could, put all their ages into a spreadsheet, basically averaged all the data out, and we came out with an average age of death for the Doberman at 8.9 years. Now this was albeit, of course, a very unscientific approach, but we're getting closer now to like what the DPCA said about the life expectancy, but 8.9 years was a little scary to see with this approach. Now the next study, far more scientific in its approach, was done in 2014 by researchers and they, uh, they plotted out all the deaths of Dobermans, including other breeds, of course, but they found that the median age of death for a Doberman was 7.67 years of age. A very scary number to see. This research also looked at the cause of death for the Dobermans, and no surprise there, the number one cause was DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy, that heart condition I told you about. And it's really a sad thing because, you know, there are genetic markers that DNA tests can look for to see how at risk your dog may be. But even so, DCM will affect a huge percentage of Dobermans in the lifetime. Now, last study I want to mention was the one that led to that conversion chart at the beginning of this video. That's the one that looked over, you know, 1,522 Dobermans over their lifespan. And they ran the numbers and they saw that the median age of death for the Doberman in that study was just 5.9 years, which is incredibly scary, specifically because it's such a huge pool of Dobermans. You know, there's over 1,500 Dobermans. To me, that lends a lot of credibility to this st study and it really just kind of makes it even more scary. Now, sources to all those studies will, of course, be linked to down below if you want to look into a little more yourself. But it's really interesting, now that you can convert your Doberman's age into human years, the equivalent human years, hopefully it kind of puts into perspective how valuable time is with your dog and how you should really take advantage of every single day you have together. And even more so, it's really important that you support your dog in terms of the over 50% chance, yes, over 50% chance that your Doberman will contract DCM, that terminal heart condition I mentioned, at some point in their life. Now, in order to do that, I always suggest the first step being getting your Doberman DNA health tested. You just swab their cheek right at home and mail it off. I use these Embark DNA test kits. You probably heard me mention them on my channel before because I really believe in them. Uh, and in fact, they have a new one now that's specifically for purebreds. So you can get one for the Doberman specifically. It's actually that green box on my, it's right back there on my fireplace. Um, and that one uh, is the newest kit. Get the green box one for the Doberman. Uh, and that will allow you to do it right at home. They also have an age test kit. So say you have a rescue Doberman, and you don't know how old they are, you can mail off a swab of their cheek and find out how old your rescue dog is, which is also really useful to have. Now, the best thing about these health test kits is they also test for over 210 health risks that your Doberman might have right now lurking in their DNA, and you might have no idea about it. My Doberman Arlo has two copies of the DCM2 gene, which I did not uh, no, until I actually physically swabbed his cheek and mailed it off to Embark to figure that out. And then you can get this information and you can pass it off to your vet and they can develop a plan to really help catch the disease as early as possible should it develop in your Doberman, knowing these risk factors that Embark tells you about, and then develop some sort of plan, usually includes some sort of heart monitor for every so often for your dog to catch as early as possible and give your Doberman the best chance at the longest life should they develop this horrible uh, condition. I'll put a link to these health test kits, guys, in the description down below this video. Uh, and I'll also link right next to it, I'll put a link to the video where I tested my Doberman Arlo at my home um, with one of these kits so you can kind of see how I did it, how I swabbed his cheek, mailed it off, and the kind of scary results I got, honestly, um, from Embark. Uh, regarding that. But take a look at that so that way it kind of takes a mystery out of it. You can kind of see how you can do it really easily right at home with one of these kits. 
Really, I think the future for the Doran Breed is bright, even though a lot of stuff can be scary, but I think the biggest reason why it's bright is because Doberman owners face this stuff head on. We're not the types to stick our head in the sand and just ignore the problem. We're gonna address this stuff, find out what's going on with our dogs, and get it handled early so we can have the most amount of time with our dogs. I will have links to all the resources to help you out with that stuff in the description down below, so make sure you check it out. And uh, guys, before you take off, please also hit that subscribe button and the bell icon next to it and share this video as well. Share it with other people, help them out with their dogs. It's really an interesting thing when you finally wrap your head around how much time, or maybe actually the limited time we have with our Dobermans. And it really makes you want to take most advantage of the days you have with your dog, which is one thing I hope all of you do. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's keep hanging out. I'll check in with you guys next week. Does that sound good? We'll keep doing this bit by bit, learning as much as we can about this breed. All right, I'll see you next time.